Hello, my name is Scott Engert, and today I'll be teaching you how to use Blender 3D. But first, we have to download the software. And I'll be using an older version that is currently available. So we're going to go to, we're going to open our browser and go to blender.org. And we're going to navigate to the download section. And we're going to, under Get Blender, we're going to click Older Versions. And we're going to go to download.blender.org backslash release. And it'll open a new page. And we're going to use Blender 4. Point, or 2.49b. So we're going to click on that. And then we're going to either click the windows.exe or the windows.zip. I don't need to download this, but I would use the exe if you're not experienced with computers or if you don't want to install it on something else easily. Well, okay, and you install that software. And I already have the software installed, so I'm going to open it. But before that, we need to install another program called Python. So we need to go to python.org. Actually, no, wait, we can't do it this way. We have to type, find the correct Python. It wants Python 2.5.1, if I remember correctly. And you can go to the first link when you type it in your into Google. And then all you have to do is click uh, for uh, those of you who have 32-bit systems. You can click this one for those of you who have the 64-bit with an early Intel 64-bit or any other 64-bit processor, you can choose this one. I recommend doing choose which one works for your system and once you download it, you're going to install that. I'm not going to go through that through this in this tutorial because I've already done so. So now that we have that done, we're going to go and open our software. We're going to open Blender and first of all, this is your basically like a command prompt. It tells you what Blender is doing, and you need this open at all times. So don't close this while you are working with Blender. So as you can see, now that Blender has started, we have a a grid with a box here, and some options up here, and some more options down here. Well, this box here is a cube. And to view it correctly, what you want to do is you want to click your wheel on your mouse and you move it. And as you move it, you're going it, to it's going to reveal the 3D object that is here. That'll be all I'll be teaching you in this tutorial. Please continue to watch these tutorials. I hope to help you guys. Please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.